And the story continues. Thank you all for the support. And let's get on with it. I really would like to get our reputation up a little bit before I talk to people, so let's do the normal. Nap time. Oh, look at that new longsword that Reed has. That thing is a beauty. It is so much easier once we get our weapon skill up. A little bit of decent armor. Not a whole lot of need for micromanaging anymore. These guys can uh, kind of hold their own now. Excellent. Okay, so after two and a half nights of fighting, we are up to respected in Berlin. Uh, we're sitting at over 3,100 3, Fennings. Uh, let see, it's 20 overall fame, 14 respected. Let's go to the market. Well, here's a halberd for uh, for Ben. Why don't we go ahead and purchase that for him?
and a chance to earn our money back. Foreign Trader offers us four florins to retrieve the Scroll of Anton. The Medici has it in Wurzburg. All right, four florins. A hostile family is trying to rob my mother of her inheritance. So he wants us to retrieve a document from the Medici in Frankfurt. And four florins to steal. I am not sure we'll be headed to Dortmund anytime soon, so I'm not sure this quest will get finished. But who knows? All right, let's equip Ben real quick. Okay, so after all this, I think I'm going to try something a little bit crazy. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Uh, I was looking at a couple character creation guides, and I realized that it's really easy to make the leader um, have intelligence and charisma and do all the alchemy, and that way we don't have to keep changing leaders. So I think I'm going to change up the party a little bit. And I'm very curious how that's going to go. I know that we will uh, lose our money for each character, so I'm going to spend it all. So let's load up on this stuff here. All right, that leaves us with two fennings. Now what I'd like to check is to see if our fame and reputation change because we have different people. So we have 20 fame, our local reputation is 14, um, so let's see what happens when we change up our party. So first thing, let's empty, uh, we're going to start with Sue. We're just gonna put our whole inventory in here. And then we're gonna put everything from Reed in here as well. Now reconsider the composition of your party. Sitting around the table, you ponder retirement and recruitment. Those who retire will want their share of the wealth, but if you return here, they might be available to rejoin your party. Followers who leave may never be found again. Well, let's see what happens. So Sue retires. Saying fond farewells, you wish Sue good luck here in Berlin. I'll try to settle down here for a bit, she says, but you never know, I might find the settled life boring after a while. Stop in whenever you're visiting. You then spend the next hour straightening out accounts. In addition to her personal possessions right now, Sue receives a full 20% share of the party's entire wealth, including any wealth stored elsewhere or contained in a banknote. Okay, same with Reed. Interesting, he has the exact same thing to say. All right, we're just going to recreate these guys. So we are going to go with the same characters. Um, I am just going to do things a little bit different here. Okay, we're going to make her a, a rural commoner. Now intelligence is going to be a key factor. We want to get the charisma up a bit. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. So that puts our charisma at 28. Um, I think that that's going to be sufficient for pretty much everything that we're doing. Um, endurance and strength, uh, it's definitely lower than I really like. Um, but I know we're going to be going into uh, alchemy, and that's going to lower strength a little bit. So I wanted that a tad bit higher. Uh, 39 intelligence, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's see how this works out for us. So we'll start as a student. And we're just going to focus on all of this right here. Then we'll do alchemist. And then master alchemist. Now, do we go one more? Um, let's go one more. All right, let's just go with regular alchemist this time. Okay, so you are added to the party. Just leave you as is. Okay, Reed is going to be our healer again. And I believe there's only one way we can actually get to 30 healing just through occupations. So we're going to start as a monk. Let's get our healing up. Uh, then we're going to do monk. And then one more time we'll do monk. That should get our healing to 30. Perfect. Bump up our woodwise a little bit. All right, I'm happy with that. Now we're going to try for his virtue to get really high and one of the best ways that I learned to do that is to go down the road of hermit and for that we need to start out as a monk, a novice monk. So we will focus over here. Then we shall do hermit. Look at 15 points of virtue. And then we'll do one more. And Johnny is just going to be brute force here. So we'll go all out endurance, strength, and agility. 
Actually, let's do perception instead of agility. Okay, so we're going to start out. We want to beef up his endurance and strength. Uh, let's do, let's see, labor gives one of each. So does recruit. Let's do labor. We're going to focus on all these skills here. Do labor one more time. Okay, everybody in the party has now been replaced and updated. Uh, let's take a look. So our reputation and fame have not changed. And what we ended up with is our party leader, Sue. Uh, we went really high in intelligence. Endurance and strength's a little bit low, but she won't be doing any of the tanking, hopefully. Uh, charisma, uh, 28's pretty solid, I think. Uh, it's not going to be that big of a deal, in my opinion. Uh, we're not going to be um, selling items as high as we could or buying them as low as we could. Uh, it may impact some of our uh, encounters, but 28 is still a pretty decent amount, and we can always pray to a saint to increase that uh, should the time come. Um, she is going to be using swords and throwing weapons as before. Um, alchemy, religion, virtue, I, all these ended up... Uh, right where I wanted them so I really really like that turnout uh, we are using a two-handed sword for now uh, but her load is a little bit high so I may switch that out a little bit later uh, Reed ended up with good religion and virtue and healing um, he is a little bit higher in wood-wise, but I was just sinking points into something, and that seemed um, like an appropriate thing at the time. He will be using a, a great hammer, but um, he too is a little bit overloaded with all this gear, um, so I'm not sure if it's going to stay that way. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, this plate armor is a huge help in combat, though. He does not take a whole lot of damage using this plate. And Ben's rework, we did focus on impact weapons, so he's using that really good uh, 46 quality uh, great hammer. Um, high religion, really high virtue, so he should be able to um, help us out with some of those saints uh, that we were lacking skill in before. Um, his artifice, I, I did bump this up a bit, and he is the highest in the party right now, but I may be switching uh, Johnny. I'll let him do some of the training and try to get his up. Uh, since he's going to be a little bit higher. And that was the direction that we went with uh, with Johnny. We went stealth, streetwise, woodwise ride, uh, and polearm. So he's going to be using the halberd. And then, like I said, I'll probably level up his artifice and just let him be in charge of all this. His religion and virtue is really low, so we will be training his religion when we can. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we need to build up everybody's weapon skills so I'm going to go back to fighting, and we'll see where that takes us.